Hi. I get asked quite a lot what strings I use on my guitar, particularly for playing in drop tunings like CGC, GGC, the kind of tunings that you'll use if you're playing Ben Howard songs. So I'm going to talk you through my choice of strings, both the make and the thicknesses, and where I put them so that you get that sort of strong percussive sound when you play. So my preferred make of strings is Daddario, and I use the EXP coated variety. I find that they last a long time and they they have a nice feel to play with as well. I did try Elixir strings, they were good, but I found that their coating tended to come off a bit like a like a wrapper almost in and it, it created a what I can only describe as a fluffiness to the strings. Uh, but that was something I never experienced with the Dodarios. Uh, no, I'm not on commission. I'm, I don't work for Dodario. Um, it's, these are just the, the strings I, I choose to play with. The gauge that I use is medium, and the, the way I string my guitar is as follows. If you look on the, the back of a packet of medium strings, you'll see the thicknesses of the strings. So starting with the thickest string, the sixth, fifth, fourth and third strings, which are all wound strings, I string those exactly as they come in the packet. So 56, 45, 35 and 26. They go strings 6, 5, 4 and 3. I then don't use the E string. Let's cross that off. I use the B string in place of the E string. So the 17 gauge string is basically going in my E string position, on the first string position. So basically I've got strings 6, 5, 4, 3 and 1 from this packet. And then I don't throw away the, the E string, obviously I use that as spares because my other guitar, which is just strung normally, just uses a standard pack of strings, nothing fancy. The, uh, the B string, however, what I do is I buy singles of uh, these Daddario high carbon steel singles. They're just unwound, plain steel strings, and the gauge I use um, is um, the O2Os, so 20s. So basically the gauges I have on my guitar are 56, 45, 35, 26, 20 and 17. Now because I've got thicker strings in the second and first position than you would normally have, that would typically produce more tension um, through the neck, but because the guitar is, is kept in a lower tuning, it kind of evens itself out. You might find if you change to this setup of strings that you might need to make a truss rod adjustment and only do that if you know what you're doing. Um, if you don't, ask somebody who does or, or go see a, a guitar shop. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it really. In terms of the, the range of tunings that I've, I've used with this setup, then, then typically the lowest I would probably go down to is something like A, G, A, E, G, C, and that's for playing Discover the Lover by John Martin. And the the highest I would probably go to would be Add a Push, Dad Gad. And uh, you are you are possibly risking breaking this this uh, second string if you crank it up to an A. Um, if you're gonna if you want to play Dad Gad, what I'd probably do is play uh, C, G, C, F, G, C and then put a capo on the second fret and that would effectively give you a dad gad tuning but you'd be two frets up the uh, up the neck so yeah that's about it um, and that's uh, that's what it sounds like with a fresh set of strings thanks for watching